Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode in The Walking Dead. So we are back in our house. We went through um, a lot of stuff right now like Ben died and we had to escape and so on. But now we have all the tools we need to get to the river. And something else still, there's still this man that we talked to the walkie talkie and he didn't show up yet. Like, I think he's still alive, and that's the question. That's the question. Anyway, let's resume the game. Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh. Hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Good. I feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. She'll be okay. I know it's tough on her now, but she'll understand. I did what I had to. She will understand, right? She's gonna have to if she's gonna make it in this world the way it is now. No easy decisions anymore. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination... Do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? You're coming at me with a lot here, Vernon. I need to think it over. Of course, take your time. But I want you to think about some things. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've 
always done better on my own anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. Clementine? Clementine? No walkie talkie, Clementine's away. I think she left the house and, well, went away. To search the parents to this uh, mysterious man Clementine? who will keep her and Clementine! now we have to rescue her. Something like that, I guess. Oh god.
are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Lee, man, you know I care about Clementine, and I am a Christian man, and I keep asking myself, if this was me asking you for help, asking you to put your life on the line, would you be there for me? Because there have been plenty of times when you ain't been. Kitty, man, I'm begging you here. I can't do this alone. I need your help, please. You might not have been keeping score, Lee, but I have. And you've been looking out for yourself more often than your friends. Well, maybe that's a good thing. Because you're on your own on this one. Guess it's just me and you guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. I'll get the boat out onto the river. Figure I can wait there until you get back. Or at least until nightfall. You're still gonna take me. Even bit. Yeah, we'll figure out what to do about that when the time comes. Come on, guys, let's go. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! That's problematic. Now you have to find them.
Ho ho. Okay. With a cliffhanger, huh? All right. Phew. Look at that. Anyway, this was chapter 4. In the last chapter, next chapter will be chapter 5. So we will see what is going on there. So let's have a look at it. So only a quarter did not kill him. All right. Then um, rational and honest. Then I brought her. Yeah, seventy-three percent. And now a third let it go, and two thirds didn't. So I don't know if I could have saved him. It just looked for to me like the world of zombies. If I would have taken him up, he would have bitten. Would he would have been bitten for sure. Well, it just looked for me like that. Or maybe with a the kick, then everything would have been okay. So, yeah. So, it looks like I could have saved him. Good to know. I really thought, no, there is no exit. And he would have died anyway, sooner or later. And then the bad reveal and 80% show, showed it. Interesting. Alright, so let's continue. Who came with you? Ah, oh, look at that. You see here, Ben? Ben is still alive, huh? Interesting. Like, this is what were interesting. To see that, yeah, Ben would have been still... Uh, still been alive. Ah, well, that's sad. Next time, yeah, now would have changed it anyway. Then it looks like that 18% just, yeah, because yeah, my in my game like there was like um, he didn't really, I never listened to him and so on. Like he also argued with that, so yeah, and this is the whole group like 16% got it. In a way, all right. Mm, yeah. You know, one, two, three, four. Been that. But okay. So continue. And it looks like then. Looks like this was chapter 4, so I will now just let this go and see you then in the next episode in chapter 5. Have a nice day and bye. Yeah, I should have saved him. Yeah, that's sad. Anyway, have a nice day and bye.